Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today... Reese, why is the angle different? Well, I'll tell you why. We got ourselves a special guest. All the way from his driver's seat, Chris Picard. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Guys, this is a first... This is my first ever guest on the show. Please welcome him with, with, with welcoming hands. It's an Thank honor. you. It's an honor. Thank you. Okay. So, Chris, I like to do these yearly predictions where I figure out which team is going to win each division. Today, this year, I want you to tell me if I'm right or wrong, or um, you know, give me your opinions as well. All right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Starting in the NFC North, we got the Packers, Lions, Bears, and Vikings. Now, this one was a, a little bit of a tough choice. But I'm going to go with the Packers just because, you know, Aaron Rodgers is back. He's hungry and they got themselves a new coach. They got a nice running back, a solid defense this season. So I think the Packers are going to win. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Bears won this division just because their defense is pretty lit. This one is pretty much in the air. I, it's why I like kind of agree, agree with you and kind of disagree because the Packers, the new coach, the new running back and the decent defense is is good, but all that could be, it could go south. You know what I'm saying? The Vikings are really steady and solid, but like Stephon Diggs and um, Adam Thielen, they're just, the Vikings would really prove themselves last year as well. The Bears, I mean, freaking um, Khalil Mack was amazing last year, and Trubisky's coming up, bro. So I don't know, that one's most in the air, but I'd pick the Vikings. Do you trust Do you trust Kirk Cousins to lead them to a playoff? Or? That's the difference between the Packers and the right? Vikings. Yeah, man. that's tough. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, next in the NFC South. This one's tough, but you got the Saints, the Falcons, the Panthers, and the Bucks. Now, Chris, in case you didn't know, this is the division that never has a consistent division winner. It's always a new team every year. So this year, I'm going to go balls to the wall and say that the Saints are going to win the division only because, you know, they had a fantastic season and I I don't know about the Falcons, but they still haven't really bounced back from that yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah, I so, agree. So, I, I got to go with New Orleans. I agree. I actually picked New Orleans to win the Super Bowl this year. Wow. I think they are going to go through a brick wall. Like, okay. for real. I think they're going to do amazing this year. Now, something with the Saints is that their defense has never been consistent. So, what do you think That's is true. going to have to improve in order to... Just consistency, like you said. Like, yeah. they have it. You know what I'm saying? They're not like a non-defensive team. They have a defense. Drew Brees is... A Hall of Famer, you know, just get it, just be more solid. Like it's obvious to say, but that's yeah. what I think. Gotcha. Okay, in the NFC East, we got <laughs> the Eagles, we got the Cowboys, yeah, like we that. got the Giants, and we got the Redskins. Now, two of these teams don't even exist, so yeah. we're gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the Philadelphia Eagles. Carson Wentz is back. He he wants to prove himself this season. They got Jordan Howard. He's a 1,000 yard rusher. Their defense is stepping up. They got all their defensive players coming back. So I think they can take this division if Carson Wentz is healthy. And Jordan Howard came from the um, the Bears. The Bears, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's funny because I was just watching First Take and they were talking about the Cowboys and they just got Zeke. They have Amari, yeah. Dak. They have the Holy Trinity right there. You know, like yeah. I'm expecting the Cowboys to win that one. The Eagles, like. Dude, it's crazy because Carson Wentz has not been there a full year. Every time he leaves, Nick Foles is like, yo, hold my beer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And like, now Carson Wentz has the beer and he's like, oh, what do I do now? You Should know? So, yeah. well, he pulled all the way through. I'm looking forward to see that too. But Cowboys is my pick for that division. Now, do you, just like Kirk Cousins, do you trust Dak Prescott to lead that team too? I do. I yeah. do because of the surrounding, you know what I'm saying? He's not like yeah. he has to lift Amari. Amari's at a high level. He doesn't have to lift Zeke. He's at a high level, so it's like they can help Dak be better, even if Dak isn't at the level. But he's already at a, you know what I'm saying? He's not yeah. a bad starting quarterback, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And one thing that's really underrated is that Cowboys defense. There, they're really it like is. young. It is. And yes, really, I'm yeah. even sleeping on it a little bit, but yeah. yeah, you're definitely right about that. In the NFC West, we got the Arizona Cardinals. We got the Los Angeles Rams. We got the Seattle Seahawks, and we got the San Francisco 49ers. Now, this one was a tough one for me because, you know, I'm a Cardinals fan. Yeah. I want to pick the Cardinals, but... New look Cardinals, bro. I, I, yeah, but I don't trust them yet. I think yeah. the Rams are going to win this division. Um, the Seahawks, they lost a lot of talent, and I don't think yeah, they'll be able yeah. to improve. The 49ers, I don't trust Jimmy G just yet. 
Um, even though they did add some more pieces to their to their roster, I just think the Rams are are set, you know, so I think Same they're going to take that division. I agree 100%. I think the Rams are just, they were a Super Bowl last year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Todd Gurley, they do say that he has an injury that could affect the rest of his career, so That's we don't true. know if we're getting MVP Todd Gurley next year, mm. but it's the Rams. They have Aaron freaking Donald. Oh, yeah. He's a freaking... Just, he's, not, he's just not human, you know what I'm saying? Now, jumping to the AFC, we got the AFC North. In the AFC North, we got the Browns. We got the Steelers, we got the Ravens, and we got the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, Chris, the Browns, they're new. Yeah. And they, they wanna they wanna take it. Yeah. I with the Steelers losing Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, I don't think they're going to win this division. It's gonna and, be hard. and with the Ravens, they have a great defense, but I don't trust Lamar Jackson. So I'm gonna go with the Browns. I'm gonna agree with you on that. Like you just have they've been tanking to do this. Not even tanking, that's harsh. They've been set up right now to, they built a team. Right? You know, they've been waiting for this moment and it looks like they got all the right puzzle pieces. Like everybody looks like they got the same mindset and they got plenty of talent. Yeah, so exactly. Like mm -hmm. In the AFC South, we got the Texans, we got the Jags, we got the Colts, <laughs> and we got the Titans. Now, some peace, Andrew Luck. now, I was going to say, I was going to pick the Colts for this, mm -hmm. but because Andrew Luck re retired, Same I don't think yeah. they can win. So I'm going to give it to the Texans, just because Deshaun Watson, he, he's pretty good. They got yes. one of the best receivers in the league, and they got um, a good running back. They got a solid defense. I think they can take this division. It's a it's a division that can, that can go anywhere, but I just see the Texans. Now, I might be mistaken. Did the Jags go to the playoffs last year? No. They didn't. No. But the year before that, they did, yeah. right? And they yeah. gave, like, they made the Patriots look like little girls. Yeah. <laughs> if they can have that same defense, they now have somebody who beat the Patriots, Nick Foles, right. on their team. I got to pick the Jags. The Texans still, the Texans to me are like, they go past the wild card, then they're out. Yeah. That's it, every year. And then sure. Nick Foles, then again, the Jags, same thing. But Nick Foles has been there. He's... I don't know. I, I got the Jags. In the AFC East, we got just the Patriots. No yeah, other team matters. Yeah, yeah honestly. About this, yeah, no. In the AFC West, <laughs> we got the Chiefs. We got the Chargers. We got Ooh. the Raiders. Ooh. And we got the Broncos. Now, Ooh. Patriots. No. no. Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> I got sidetracked. The Chiefs. Up and coming Patriots of the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. They, um, they're ready. They're ready for Patrick Mahomes. They know yeah. what he can do this season. Mm -hmm. I still think they can win this division just because, you know, the other two teams are kind of, you know, like, who cares about they're them? Still over there. The Chargers. You can't sleep on the Chargers. They had a really good season last yeah. season. If the Chiefs don't win this division, I would not be surprised if the Chargers did. Yeah, heck yeah. That's the only way it can... I think that's the only way it's going to go, definitely. Like, yeah. Chiefs, I have... My prediction for the Super Bowl in general, I don't know if you're going to say that to that or not, uh, Chiefs and Saints. Okay. And I think Saints would win. Because, like I said earlier, with the NFC side, is Saints going to the Super Bowl, Chiefs, Saints, Super Bowl, if Patriots don't do it. Now that's that's what it should have been last year. But the Rams, yeah. the call, the yeah. call with it, that. It probably yeah. should have been Chiefs and Saints last year. Yeah. Chiefs got effed over, and so did the Saints. Yeah. Honestly. Definitely. But that's how it's going to go, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, thank you so much for coming through. Um, do you want do you want to give a shout out to anybody? Leave your links in the description. Anything? Do you have shout links? out shout out to the Martians, shout out to Kev, Squid, and shout out to Reese. So yeah. yeah. And Linville. Do you, have, do you have links that I should put in the description? Instagram, Facebook. You can follow me at Picard the Third on Instagram. That's it. Underscore Picard underscore the yeah. Out. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, everybody. Let me know what you guys want to see next week. Leave a comment on who you think is going to win their respective division. And let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. We're out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> You're going to make me laugh. All right. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself. And today, why is the angle different? You might... <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> let me start over. Let me start over. Place the Rams. They have Aaron freaking Donald. Oh, yeah. He's a freaking. Just, Hello? He's just not human, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, my. Sorry, that was Marshawn Lynch. We had him earlier on the podcast. Okay, yeah. <laughs>